Researchers from Bionic Vision Australia have successfully performed the first bionic implant of an early prototype in Melbourne. The bionic eye was implanted in a woman who suffers from dramatic vision loss due to retinitis pigmentosa. Miss Diane Ashworth received the prototype eye implant, which was activated at the Bionics Institute after years of testing and planning. With researchers observing her progress via video link in an adjacent room, Miss Ashworth reported experiencing some vision. The prototype is a retinal implant consisting of 24 electrodes. A tiny wire extends from the back of the eye to a connector behind the ear. The implant is then connected to an external system in a lab, allowing researchers to control how the implant is stimulated and in order to study the flashes of light. Feedback from Miss Ashworth will provide researchers with valuable information they can use to develop a vision processor so that images can be built using flashes of light. This early prototype model does not incorporate an external camera yet. This is the planned next phase of development and testing. Director of the Bionics Institute, Professor Rob Shepard, led the team in designing, developing, and testing this early prototype to make sure it meets high standards in both safety and efficacy. According to Shepard, we are working with Miss Ashworth to determine exactly what she sees each time the retina is stimulated using a purpose-built laboratory at the Bionics Institute. The team is looking for consistency of shapes, brightness, size, and location of flashes to determine how the brain interprets this information.